Hey collectors, how's it going? Azra Collections here and today we're looking at a really cool action figure. This is the first for my channel. This is the WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar. So just to give everybody a brief intro, the Ultimate Edition line is an action figure that is more articulated than the Elite line for WWE and they try to give you more head sculpts, more, more accessories, just more everything. So then they're, they're the ultimate figures that you have in your collection. So just in terms of box, here we have it uh, up here. So it looks pretty cool. It's got the white and red deco, which is pretty cool. It's got Brock Lesnar lit, written up top here. It's for 8 plus, so adult collectors only, I guess. Or maybe 8 plus, you're still a teen, right? So you're still a kid. That's all right. We've got the ultimate edition written down here. And this is art ultimate articulation for authentic posability, which is awesome, right? So on the side here, we get to see a picture of Brock Lesnar with his WWE title. And at the back here, we get to see a posed up figure, which looks pretty cool. And also Brock Lesnar, uh, which is pretty cool. So in terms of the figure, just straight out of the bat, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you see here, he's got a cloth uh, kind of goods, cloth uh, t-shirt here. Um, or maybe a vest, but you can basically unhook it from the back here. You can just slip it off. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it, it could have probably been done better. I mean, if it's sleeveless, you could probably have made it a one-piece thing. But it's probably for uh, younger people or more reckless people who just want to, you know, quickly get it on and off. But this is what the base of the figure looks like. The articulation is different to a normal um, kind of elite figure. So you can see the abs are definitely a lot different here. The plastic looks a little bit different as well. Uh, the finishing on the figure is a lot better, I think. And there's just more details on the Ultimate Edition figures. Uh, we obviously have all of Brock's tattoos here. So on the back here, it's everywhere. So it's it's got lots of nice details. The shorts have the uh, Brock Lesnar kind of uh, tattoo kind of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, logos and everything. Uh, Lesnar written on the hands. Fear. Fury on the wrist there, if you can, yep, yeah, that's that's Fear Fury on the wrist there. Just a lot of good details. Well, so in terms of articulation, Brock's head, uh, he's pretty much got no neck because of all his muscles, but his head can go up that far back, that far front, not that much, so it's decent range of, mo range of motion, but it's all right. He can look left and right, and he can give you some attitude with a little bit of pivot. Yeah, but his <laughs> he kind of looks necklace, so... That's all right. Uh, his diaphragm joint does allow him for that much motion front and that much back. Uh, we'll get that out of the way, which is all right. You know, yeah. But Brock was probably a lot more out of shape than this. But you can see muscles, which is all right. At one point in time, he was pretty muscular. So um, with his shoulders, he can go up that high, which isn't that high. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, it's, there's a sculpted piece here that hinders him a little bit. He's got the bicep swivel. You can go all the way around, double hinge at the elbows, and they're pretty but buttery, they're pretty smooth, so it's like not that difficult to uh, engage. Uh, he's got a wrist joint, uh, he's got a wrist pivot and uh, wrist articulation here that can go back and front, which is pretty cool. Uh, the diaphragm we've already talked about, he's got a wave swivel, which can go left and right. Um, the hips are on balls, so he can kick out that much. Uh, there's thigh swivel, he can rotate. He can kick to the front, kick not much to the back because the back, uh, the butt part gets in the way. The shorts are done pretty cool, uh, but yeah, they're just like a sculpted piece. There's, it's just solid plastic. Uh, the double jointed knees can go that far back, which is pretty cool. And he's got a rocker ankle. There's boot articulation and his legs, oh, he's got two articulation as well. And he can go forward and back. So yeah, pretty decent range of motion on this guy. So in terms of accessories, Brock comes with a lot of things. He comes with his championship belt here. I think this is the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, which is pretty cool. The red looks very leathery. It looks pretty good. This is what the back looks like. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of blocks going on there. So probably isn't comfortable to wear. But yeah, it's it's a pretty cool belt. He's got the Suplex City uh, the jersey that or the t-shirt that he was wearing, the vest which is pretty cool. It's uh, not that thick fabric, so it's all right, but yeah, it's pretty cool. He's got a lot of hands. So he's got two uh, two fist hands that came with the body. I swapped them out. Uh, he's got two, oh, the fist hands apparently don't have any paint on them, which is, I just noticed that, which is weird, but it's true for both hands. All the other hands look like they have paint on for the gloves, so that's weird. 
So he's got uh, two semi-open hands and two more open hands that's on the body at the moment. Mm, he's got a beanie as well. I'm, I don't know when he ever wore a beanie, but uh, he's got a beanie if you want, it, want him to have one. And yeah, that's what it looks like. It's pretty easy to pop on. Just, yeah, it goes straight on top. So he's got two uh, faces as well that are extra, two extra head sculpts. One's the screaming one. You can use him for power moves and stuff. And one is when he looks like he's in trouble or when he's like, you know, done the dirty deed in his pants or something. So, yep. And obviously on the body, you get like the more stoic head sculpt. It's just normal. He's just like, yeah, he's just doing Brock Lesnar things, I guess. But yep, you've got you've got a lot of accessories with this figure. Hi, comparison wise, I don't have a lot of WWE figures, so I'll try to make this quick. Uh, we've got AJ Styles, the basic version here. He's just a basic figure, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like AJ Styles. I'm uh, thinking of getting, I'm actually getting an elite version of him as well. So that's pretty cool. So the custom here is uh, the knee pads and the elbow pad. They're all customs. They're made with fabric, which helps, you know, uh, if you look here, it just, it's authentic. It helps with all the bending and all of that, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I he didn't come with any accessories when I got the basic figure. It was just a figure, no elbow pads, nothing. So I had to create it for myself just to make him look more like the WrestleMania version that I think WrestleMania 33 uh, attire that he was wearing. Uh, the Rock here, he had a really weird mustache, so I got rid of it. Uh, I think this makes him look a lot better. But yeah, this is the elite um, scale, elite version action figure which has more articulation than the basic the basic basically has like i think uh seven or eight points of articulation the elite has more than that and this is the ultimate figure here which is the newer line that they've come out with and the undertaker here he's got a custom uh trench coat on yeah i probably want to make more stuff on the trench coat where he has collars and collar and stuff like that but yeah it's just a work in progress for now but yeah this is what brock lesnar compares to other wwe figures so in conclusion, I really like this figure. It's a pretty cool figure. It's got a lot of articulation, a lot of accessories, and there's so much to like about this figure. I think if you get the chance, these are not that expensive. I got them for Amazon for, I think, around 47 uh, Australian dollars. So they're not that expensive, but they're really good figures, and this is probably going to be like a definite, definitive version of Brock Lesnar anyway. So I really like this figure. If you get the chance, please do go out and buy him. But yeah, I think it's worth it. So yeah, thank you for watching.